morning my soccer universe I avoided watching the games yesterday I was so tired you know the video I made uh, Sunday evening I posted yesterday it was way too late I watched the Super Bowl I had actually quite a busy day yesterday although I got some rest but I needed to uh, rest I actually also recorded yesterday but I will post it uh, this evening posted a video where I'm looking at how uh, things stand in all the non top four leagues uh, with a main focus on League A which for some yeah I have a little bit neglecting uh, as of late uh, but they really had a great game um, this weekend between PSG and Lyon. Uh, so yeah, it's a good league. It's a really good, good league, one that I should actually watch more of. But you know, the way the things are going sometimes, you have to pick and choose. I cannot watch every game. Okay, uh, yesterday were actually four games. I think the biggest quite easily was uh, Liverpool against West Ham, although I think the two in Serie A were also not um, interesting. Let me just here. Yeah. Uh, so let's start with the Liverpool game. Liverpool at West Ham and if you thought that Liverpool had trouble against Leicester and that was just temporarily unfortunately not really yes they have some injuries Henderson and so on but it was not pretty it was not pretty uh, what was going on uh, from what I could tell West Ham had more chances was well in the game Liverpool had a big trouble and was generally too slow uh, in the build-up so very un Liverpool like and I'm beating myself a little bit over it not that I really think it has anything to do with it but since I have my Liverpool jerseys Liverpool is a little bit mm -hmm, going down and uh, we're missing where there was luck earlier this season, it's now only getting a draw. There was luck, uh, though, in the 22nd when Mane uh, scored the first goal. Um, that was a clear offside. Uh, I don't know now who was in offside, but it was a clear offside position. Uh, that should not, that goal should not have stood. Uh, but yeah, you take as it is and uh, get 1-0 and I was actually at that moment hoping uh, they hang on to a, a lucky win but Antonio equalizes just a few minutes later in the 28th uh, West Ham had chances so did Liverpool uh, but you know it was more on the uh, I think the game was a little bit more leaning West Ham although the Li Liverpool surely, surely was the more um, dominant side I mean, yes they had a better team but yeah, West Ham got the well-deserved point. Origi had a big chance. I think Salah had a had a typical Salah move early in the second. Origi had a a big chance right at the end of the game. Uh, again, out of an offside position, so that should not have stood either. So yeah, there, there you go. Uh, it's one-one now. It's only three points. Um, what can I say? Five points here, three points the last two games. City had a win and a draw, and Liverpool had uh, two, uh, a win and a loss, and Liverpool had two draws. So that loses you a point in the overall. Still, it's three points, uh, but at that rate, and especially the way City has been playing against Arsenal, you have a reason a little bit to worry, but you know might be temporarily uh, maybe a game needs to fall Liverpool's way uh, relatively soon again and then it will be all fine um, but you know at the moment I am a little bit skittish about the uh, 
the way the championship is going in um, England. But I really, really hope that uh, Liverpool will hang on and this is just a temporarily slip up. I don't think they will, that, that Liverpool will uh, really crash and burn and City will win by a lot of points. I don't think that's, that's gonna happen. But it is going to be interesting again. And on one side, I am a little bit sad about it. On the other side, uh, isn't it that exactly what we want? We want to have suspense if it falls the right way. So let's see about that. The two Serie A games, um, Frosinone against Lazio. Lazio got, I think, Casado scored the winning goal. Lazio got a somewhat lucky win uh, against Frosinone. Uh, gotta be honest about that. Uh, but you know, Lazio had the big overtime penalty shooter, shooter game uh, midweek. So yeah, maybe they were a little bit tired. Frosinone, of course, uh, had their chances. They even got a penalty that was taken away by VAR. Uh, rightfully so, there was nothing happening. Um, Frosinone had a huge chance to equalize uh, towards the end of the game where uh, the striker just yeah, they took it badly. Or maybe the ball uh, wobbled a little bit too much, uh, just went over the bar and was a clear shot on goal. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to say a world-class striker will make this because uh, in the same field to the same goal, Iguain, when Milan played the throws and only had also a clear chance, it was a little bit clearer than this one um, and put it over the bar. So maybe there's something with the field of throws and only on that side. But yeah, uh, Lazio gets the win, is now right behind Roma. And who is leapfrogging Roma? Atalanta getting kind of a well-deserved uh, win. I think Hatebur makes the uh, goal at Cagliari. Cagliari could have equalized. I think they, were, they hit the bar. Cagliari is also getting slightly into trouble. Uh, but you know, I, I think they will overall be safe and I really hope they are safe. Um, because that, that that's a team that should be in Serie A. Cagliari is absolutely deserving to be in Serie A. So yeah. Um, that's where it stands at the moment. So uh, Atalanta gets ahead of Roma in fifth. It's now, I think, Milan with 36 points, Roma, Atalanta, and Lazio with 35. And I personally, while it should not be make my average, I personally don't like that Cagliari is now coming to the San Siro this weekend. That Milan doesn't do well in these games. But maybe, 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 after having now three big opponents and small opponents, yeah. Milan and Liverpool at the moment are a little bit, whenever they had the chance to get some distance between themselves and the competition, they don't pounce on those chances. That's what worries me. And the last game I want to talk about is between Rayo Vallecano and Leganes, which is a huge relegation battle. They were level on points, Rayo is on the relegation spot, Leganes is not. First half dominated by Leganes. And they took a uh, deserved lead, but then in the second half, Rayo comes back, uh, but just cannot convert. Um, they finally get the equalizer in the 82nd minute. Uh, everyone thinking, oh yeah, we can make the push. Maybe Rayo, who has been unbeaten uh, for five games in a row, maybe now we can move ahead, ahead of Leganes. And then an absolutely horrible header. I mean, horrible header. The header was there, but no one is connecting with it and just goes into the goal two minutes after uh, Rayo had, uh, got the equalizer. There were some goalkeeping heroics on the Leganes side that have to be mentioned as well. But yeah, overall, Leganes moves far up to Athletic uh, Bilbao now. So. Uh, that tells me, I mean, that's now six points for Athletic Bilbao between relegation and staying in the league. Uh, but also, also tells me it's quite tight uh, towards the bottom in La Liga. So, yeah, gonna be interesting. Tomorrow, of course, we have Copa del Rey semi final, El Clasico. That's gonna be That's gonna be interesting. This might be, of all the Clasicos that we are about to have, this might be the one uh, with the return leg. But, you know, tomorrow. Both teams will play the full squad and both teams will take it super serious. So that's going to be uh, something interesting uh, and surely we have to have an eye on that game. Um, 
I want to watch it, but I'm not sure if it's the wisest thing to do so. Uh, one last on Inter, who is seemingly Spalletti for now has the vote of confidence from the board. Um, probably it helps Inter that despite them having a really bad patch now, uh, that they are, you know, have not lost that much ground because the competition is also not moving up that much. But yeah, uh, third place is the most that they probably can, can achieve. The weirdest thing that I didn't mention in the video yesterday uh, is that interplay with Chinese uh, naming on their jerseys, which I don't know why. I know Inter has done this with uh, Instagram handles, now they did it with uh, Chinese names. I'm not sure if that's a guess if you want to get a garner that audience, but I don't think this is wonderful move, I, in my view, you know. and I, I always enjoy Chinese characters here and there, and there. I, I quite, it's a quite an interesting writing system. Okay, that's it for me, and now I'll have, um, as I said, the roundup video in the evening of we'll have a look at all your European leagues, and yep, yeah, I'll keep on posting videos, uh, give me some thumbs, thumbs up if you enjoyed this one, uh, let, let me know in the comments below what you think about Premier League, Serie A, La Liga, Bundesliga, whatever. Drop comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.